can this new American brand take the fit to box welterweight title and that is for gloves between 51 English pounds and 100 English pounds or between 61 US dollars to 120 US dollars can this glove take the title Hello and welcome to fit to box channel I'm Simon and I bring to you all the best boxing equipment out there tell you all about it show you around the different types of gear give you my personal opinion so you can decide whether or not that equipment is good for you today I've got a brand new brand on the channel hit and move gloves and hit and move is actually they've got a punch device that they've bought out I'm currently testing it and it is a spinning bar with a, a head target a body target as well as the spinning bar and I've been using that in the gym a lot so I'll be bringing you that review very very soon they have bought out some gloves not only some boxing gloves but also some Muay Thai gloves as well which I'll touch on on the end um, but these are not sort of gloves that just go with the punch device these have been worked on totally separate to the punch device so I don't want you to think that these are just like a cheap pair of gloves that go with the punch device that is not the case these gloves are really really superb I have to say so let me just show you first of all you've got hit and move there these in the black with the sort of metallic -y type red but not a shiny metallic and then you've got the gold piping on there as well and you've got as I bring that round you've got all day on the thumb and that is going for the fact that the the owner said to me he said you can use these gloves all day so obviously he's talking about the quality that these gloves bring so as I bring it round as I said in the opening these are going to go in the fit to box welterweight division and um, at the end of this video I'm not going to score these because these are good enough to go into a straight title match against the current champions the prize ring gloves to see which out of these two gloves is gonna come out as champion these gloves the long-term champion of course uh, and these obviously will be the challenger now I only put a pair of gloves in against a title holder when the gloves have actually got a chance so I know that even though I haven't scored that contest the difference between these gloves and that gloves gloves it is gonna be close so let's have a closer look at these gloves today So the style of these gloves, beautiful leather on them. You can see obviously the badges, you've got hit and move there. You've got all day. You've got the 16 ounce indicator underneath. And then you've got the hit and move all day TM on there. And then you've got that in the white and the red on the black. And then you've also got obviously the gold piping. And as I move it round, you can see all day that is on the thumb and bring that round again you've got that lovely sort of gold piping a metallic on there that is a metallic red but it's not the shiny red um, it's a little bit duller but it does look superb and then let's just have a look so let's have a look the knuckle okay so the knuckle is sort of medium to firm okay it's not too hard um, it is a really sort of sleek glove when it comes to sparring as you can see it's not a wide glove also the thumb is tucked in there as well lovely you've got that thumb attachment that does its job great and that is a very comfortable comfortable thumb and that knuckle area will protect your knuckles as I come round you've now got the wrist so the wrist does what it needs to do in terms of the velcro okay you've got some padding at the front here as you can see you've got genuine leather designed in the USA nice little badge there with the flag you've got hit and move 
and then you can see that that's lovely over the back of the wrist let's go onto the front then so face of the glove have a look at the stitching on there as well and this is a really well made glove the face of the glove you've got that grip bar that you can feel when you when you're sort of making a fist and also they are really well made and I've been hugely impressed with how the construction of these gloves is and then finally again sometimes uh, companies come a cropper when it comes to the lining and this company hasn't a lovely lining with hit and move in on the fabric and it's lovely and soft so what they've done is they've got all aspects of the glove to a really great standard So these gloves come in 14 and 16 ounce. These are 16 ounce on the label and of course a Velcro. Let's just weigh the left glove. 15.7, so that's a little under what it should be. Obviously the Velcro is not that thick, but still 16 ounce at 15.7 is light. And then onto here, we've got 15.8, again, similar in weight to the left one but ultimately that is light for a 16 ounce velcro um, on the label So when it comes to comfort, one of the things that you know some companies fall down on is the comfort of the gloves. And a major thing for me is comfort. Um, these gloves are super comfortable, let me tell you. Um, as I put them on there, you've got a really nice finger pad. Behind the finger area on that sort of troublesome, sometimes some gloves struggle to get the comfort in that area. These are totally fine. The thumb, it's sort of flat in. The thumb attachment is doing its job, but you've got a sleek glove, especially when it comes to sparring. You can open the hands up fine, and then you've got that wrist with that Velcro, a really nice wrist as well. So what you've got in there, you've also got a grip bar, which you can feel when you get into the fist position, and you've got good padding across that knuckle area, and I have been super impressed with these gloves. Same again with the left glove. The left glove offers the same amount of comfort in all of the areas. So what you've got here is you've got a great looking pair of gloves that actually feel great to use as well. And not only that, they are 99 UK pounds, so they are a bargain. So they go into the welterweight division, the welterweight price division, and as I say, in the, uh, in the next week I am going to pit these gloves against the current champion, the prize ring velcro uh, this has been a glove that i was hugely impressed with and i'm going to pit these gloves against these gloves uh, in the coming days and see who comes out as the champion as well with these gloves you get a carry bag okay now you've got a handle there you've got a zipper okay so you just slot them into there and that has got that mesh at the, at the side so you can see the gloves through it You've also got hit and move all day on the front. And that is a really good quality carry bag as well that you get. And they even give you um, a set of instructions in that that tells you how to look after these gloves as well. So again, I can tell the amount of effort that they've put into the design of the gloves, getting the right materials, the feel of the gloves. They've carried that over into the carry bag as well as even to the, the point of putting some instructions of how to make these gloves last longer. They've also done 
this glove. Now this glove has got padding at the front and this is their Muay Thai glove. Okay, now I'm not going to score this glove. I'm just making you aware that they do two types. This one, which is the Muay Thai glove, and this one, which is the boxing glove. Obviously, the boxing glove is the one that I'm going to rate. The boxing glove is the one that's going to go against the prize ring glove. Uh, the boxing glove one will be the one that will be entered into the prize divisions and scored. But as you can see, this is a really nice looking glove as well. Slightly different when it comes to how they've put the badges on. But the main difference, as you can see, is at the front you've got that padding at the front which is more in keeping with Muay Thai and these gloves if I show you from the back there the boxing gloves are a little bit more sleeker so they make a really sleek sparring glove so again those come in a really good carry bag okay so I hope you enjoyed that I'm going to keep you in suspense for a little bit longer in terms of the how these gloves have rated but you can say uh, from this video that I am hugely impressed with them. I would not be putting them in for a title match if I didn't think that they could do well. So we'll see the outcome of that in the coming days. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to Fit2Box channel and I shall speak to you soon.